Hi everybody, I hope you're okay. Um, now I'm going to show you this video. Um, I've just got this picture on here to show you because I've got a piece of acetate. And I know it's hard to see, so if I put that photo there. Right, what I'm going to do and show you is how to make this. Okay, it's masking tape. So get yourself some masking tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the masking tape and put it on the acetate. I know this has probably been done millions of times, if not trillions, but this is just my take. And I thought for people that don't know much or, or, or just beginning, it could be something helpful or useful. I know it would have been to me. Oh, I know it would have been to me when I started because you don't find out these things when you first start. You've got to learn and learn from others. Okay, That's, that was just the masking tape, just um, cheap $2 shop stuff. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, move her out of the way, is use some Dolusion's uh, ink spray. And just spray it gently. And then I'm going to use the vintage photo. And I don't want it too dark. So I'm just going to get a wet one. And just make different funny blobbers on here. I'm not, oh, look at that. Ooh, how juicy would that be? Now then I'm going to, don't forget a lot of that is on the, just using the gum, the heat gum to dry it. I don't know how good it is on acetate. I might burn the acetate, but... God, imagine that, burning the acetate. Hang on, I'm just going to make sure it's dry. Yep, just dry. Now, I was thinking about dropping a couple of drops of um, alcohol ink. So I don't know how that'll go. So I'll give it a bash. I don't know if it will make it much different or not. Just something a bit different. And now, like you see, I turn it, I'll let it run a bit. And make it spits. I turn it over and just wipe it on the paper. Mm, yeah, it's giving it a bit of colour. <laughs> More on the acetate than on the actual... Um, Actually, what I might do now, hang on, if I just, oh, no, no, I've got it everywhere. Oh, this might be a bit, bit, bit cleaner. Now, can you see that or is it, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got my, uh, now where's the lid for that? Oh, it's, oh, here, the India ink stamp pad. And I'm going to start, if I can find my block. And this is good why I use paper all the time. All right, so that's that one. Uh, so I can um, kind of put down and see what I'm doing because otherwise everything goes upside down. I don't want that because that just would not be helpful. I'm having a hard time trying to get these stamps to stick to the... Oh, there she is. Typical me. There's got to be something upside down. If there's nothing upside down, it doesn't happen. Well, never mind. We don't really...
I think it makes it just a bit interesting. I hope everybody's having a good day. Easter coming up. Um, not celebrating. Um, have no interest. Last year I spent the four days in visiting my husband in hospital. Of course he died, so not really that... Not really that bothered. I'll probably have my little granddaughter here. Um, I've bought her some eggs, so that could be a little bit interesting. I'm sure she'll. She's not. She's not yet two, but I'm sure she'll be all over it. Just like all the kids, they seem to love Easter. Everybody loves Easter. All the chocolate eggs. So what I'm doing is just putting these on different... different um, blocks. Oh, I guess I got that one right. Up the right way. They're all, oh, sorry. Uh, I should have told you they are all uh, Tim Holtz stamps. And no, I don't know the names. I think one's this one's filled because usually I just rip them out of the packets and um, I don't um, I don't bother looking. I bought it. Yeah. Now I was going to try some rub-ons but I don't actually know where my rub-ons are so I won't no they're not here so I won't try them oh hang on no no I don't know oh ah, ah. here they are now I haven't tried the rub-ons before on here so I'll give it a go these aren't the new ones these are just old ones that I've got hanging around so we'll give this a go we'll put that here but I don't know if it'll work so we can I hope I'm in screen oh I don't think this is gonna work No, it's not going to work. Oh, okay. No, no, that idea is out then because obviously it's not going to work. Maybe um, because it's too damp. Actually, let me try this one. I think this one's a bit... Um, I think this one's a bit drier. I'll try this little bee thing, whatever it is. Is it a bee or a bug? This one's a bit drier because I did that before as a prototype. No, no, no. Oh, God, I've got my arm stuck on that thing again. No, so obviously it's uh, the masking tape that doesn't, that doesn't like it. Um... Maybe, yeah, the masking tape doesn't like it. So we won't do that. But I have found some interesting Tim Holtz bugs. So let's give these a whirl. So this is a... Oh, that might still be a bit damp. Or I'm not putting the pressure on. Let's have a look. Let's put it on the stamper and try it this way. No, it doesn't like it. No. The foam stamps, I don't know. But all I know is these word ones are working well. Um, so that's it. We'll stick to that. So that's, that's what I mean. It's trial and error. It's trial and error for me. There's trial and error showing you. I 
I can, I, we can only learn by mistakes. And if I make the mistakes, then you can learn from that. <laughs> That's a bit funny, really, isn't it? But, and another thing that annoys me is these get all... Um, these stamp things get all, let alone my hands... And that's not going to stick. Oh, I'm having enough problems getting everything to stick today. We'll try this little bit. All right, so we've got to turn him around. Now, you can use these to put in journals. You can use them, like, to uh, stick wherever. Wherever you can put, use washi tape. So I reckon that's enough. Now I wanted to try something else to see if we can pull a pop of colour. I don't know if it will work. These are the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Crowns. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can pull a bit of colour with these. I'm just using light colours. So it makes it a bit messy, but you know. And yes, I'm using a different finger each time I. Gives them just a bit of colour. A bit grungy. That's something different. So, now, if you want to use them, uh, what have I got? Uh, I haven't got any journal pages. Uh, oh, hang on. I'll take one off and stick it on. So we want to, they're all dry, they're all dry and we want to take it off and put it in our journal. So that's what, what we're looking at. So it looks pretty good. Actually, I need to put it on a piece of paper. Here, and put it on a bit of cardboard. So once again, so obviously they're going to be reusable for a bit. How about we put it up the spine of this Now, I suppose if you wanted to get it to stay permanently, you would use uh, glue. Glue or uh, um, one of these tapes. There, yeah, now that looks pretty awesome. Hmm, I'm glad I did that. Yeah, interesting. So, and then you still got your acetate. And what I do is I buy this. It's uh, icicle rubbing alcohol. So I'm tipping. If I used a bit of that, and I, oh, there you go. So we can rub that, and you've got your acetate again. So you can start off with no mess. That's another idea. Well, gosh, I'm finding more ideas as I go. Yeah, so you can start that and start again. So I just thought it's something just a little bit different um, to have a look at. I know a lot of people do it on bits and pieces, but this is the first time I've ever done it. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. You can do more, you can do less, you can do whatever. But obviously the rub-ons do not work on there. I'm tipping the rub-ons work on the uh, film strips but not on the masking tape. So just be aware of that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and everyone have a great Easter.